throwing the switch of I am. I always thought the biggest prank about April Fool's Day was that no one knows where it actually got started. Culture is rife with funny traditions with forgotten origins. But sometimes it just feels good to be foolish, throwing caution to the wind and acting on impulse without regard to consequence. It's that we moment, devoid of responsibility, full of possibility. The archetype of the fool is depicted in the traditional tarot card deck. It shows a young lad carrying a small sack of possessions at the end of a stick as he is stepping off a precipice, seemingly without care in the world, apparently impervious to consequences. The fool represents a deep truth about quantum living. Being transcends the mind. The mind is incessantly planning, judging, concluding, and deciding, all of which spring only from how we are being. The fool tells the story of how life expresses itself all around us as a result of who and what we are being. The saying, humans plan, God laughs, is precisely to this point. We think because we plan, do, and expect specific results from our doing that things work out the way we want. Despite numerous failures to predict outcomes, the mind, seemingly ignorant and headstrong, continues to set goals, work out detailed plans, all the while pretending certainty and confidence, when the reality is that we don't actually know squat about what's going to happen. Sure, we're reassured when things go our way but we are also disturbed when they don't, and after enough failures of expectations, we can grow disappointed with life and cynically and clinically depressed. Suffering has been defined as what derives from failed expectations. I've always railed a bit at the old saw, expect a miracle, because it's not the expectation of a miracle that is the operative power. It is being that is the determining factor. You want miracles? Become miraculous. It's that simple. This is a message of the fool. There is only one power in life, and that is our being. We complicate matters by making it all about logistics, compliances, rules, and regulations, but it all comes down to how our lives look to us is how we are being. Feeling is the physical expression of being. It is the bridge to experience. We are literally feeling our way through life. If we change our feelings as a result of events, those events will continually repeat in response to our feelings about them. This is at the crux of history repeating itself. Events happen, it alters our feelings, and those feelings alter our being, and here we go again. The fool is the deepest expression of non-duality. There is no good or bad in the fool. He doesn't care what happens because he knows how he is being. In his being the purity of himself, unencumbered by expectations, regrets, memories of failure, and all the flotsam and jetsam the mind throws up at us with every plan we make and action we take. At our core, we are indestructible, immortal points of being, conscious, living, experiencing vortexes of energy. Nothing can change that, and that is where our power is. We decide to be something, and the universe begins to adjust to reflect that. There is no more powerful statement to make than, I am. When I am is declared, at that moment, we switch universes. We begin to experience the universe of that I am. We may plan and take action, but it is only because of that declared I am that then determined our machinations. I am is the dynamo that drives all experience. In quantum physics, subatomic particles and waves are described as possessing choice as their characteristics change. In this same way, in consciousness, choice is the apex of being. It is that micro-moment at the genesis of being. If being is our power, choice is the on-switch. A declaration of I am signifies a choice made to be that way. 
The mind can be put to use in a better capacity than merely making and judging plans and actions. It can be used to perceive changes in the world as a result of our changes in being. It can watch out for how our choices change our life and bring validation to our personal power. It is a dense and densely populated universe out there that can seem to be unresponsive to changes in our being, but this is an illusion of time and persistence of image. A choice is made to be. Things change. The switch is thrown. The lights come on. It's as mechanically simple as that. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.